Hello everyone, my name is Sherifa Tiyahia Uluwa Punke. I'm a data processing teacher in Nigerian Tulip International College. In this video, I will be solving 20 questions from Y 2016. So let's go. The number one question goes thus Who developed the first digital electronic computer? A. Blaise Pascal. Blaise Pascal invented the first digital calculator to help his father with his work calculating taxes. The device was called Pascal. B. Joseph Jaguar. Joseph Maria Jaguar was born in the year 1752 and a French inventor who invented the Jaguar Sloan. Matley and Eckert were inventor who invented the electronic numerical integrator and computer, ENIAC, which was the first general purpose electronic digital computer that was completed in the year 1946. Von Leibniz, he's a German mathematician, philosopher. He developed the step reckoner, a calculating machine which was designed in the year 1671 and built in the year 1673. So the question says, who developed the first digital electrical computer? From the options, we can see that Motley and Eckert were the first person to develop or invent the first general purpose electronic digital computer. So therefore, our answer is C. Question number two. Which generation of computers made use of integrated circuits? This takes us back to the generation of computer, which has each technology been used. The first generation uses vacuum tubes. Second generation transistors. Third generation integrated circuits fourth generation microprocessors and the fifth generation artificial intelligence. And the question is asking of which generation of computer uses the integrated circuit. And we can see that the third generation of computers uses the integrated circuit. So our answer is B. Question three, which of the following is an alphabetic data that is Alphabet only. What is alphabetic data? It consists of capital letters from A to Z, either small or either small letter or capital letter. It's simply text and it can be called non numeric data. From the option here, we have A as bed, B, A, X, 4, 4. JJ. This is an alphanumeric data. We have C, A, B plus C, D, D, percentage. And alphabetic data are strictly text, no numbers. So therefore, our answer is A. Question number four. The type of data which consists of text, numbers, audio, video, graphic, and animation. The type of data that comprises of all these is called a data set. What is data set? It's a collection of numbers of value that relates to what a particular subject. Multimedia data. Multimedia data refers to a data that consists of what various media like text, numbers, audio, video, graphics, and animation. Multipurpose data. Multipurpose means what having more than one use or purpose. While data simply means what numbers, letters, or symbols that can be entered in a computer system. Looking at multipurpose and data, meaning a data that serves more than one purpose. Multivariable data is a type of statistical analysis that involves more than two dependent variables. So the question says which of the data type consists of text, numbers, audio, video, 
graphics and animation. We can see vividly that the multimedia data consists of the following. So therefore, our answer is B. Number five, which of the following factors is not considered when classifying computers? This takes us to what? Classification of computers. Computers can be classified based on the following. One, can be classified based on technology used, which are the generation of computers, can be classified based on size, based on type, and based on purpose. So from the options, we can see that we have B as classification based on size, C, type, D, purpose. Then A, location, is the odd one. So therefore, our answer is option A. Question six, which of the following is not used for online shopping? Yes, where you want to buy things online. What do you use online? Among all the options, which one can you not use to shop online? We have MasterCard, yes. We have credit card, yes, you can use credit card. We have the VAV card, yes, you can use VAV card. But SIM card, SIM card only provide network. We can use it to make telephone calls or have access to the internet. So the answer is D, SIM card. The next question, number seven, which of the following is not a negative impact of ICT in education? Negative impact. Plagiarism. What is plagiarism? Is a fraudulent representation of another person's language taught ideas or expressions as one's own original work. E library is an electronic or online library where one can have access to books, journals, novels, articles, or any other information over the internet, meaning it is useful. Is not a negative impact, it's a positive impact. Distant learning, yes. Distant learning, it refers to any education that is provided without a teacher and the student being physically what, present together. That means ICT is what is positive, looking at distant learning. Computer-based, computer-based text, CBT for short, is a means that candidates can use to answer questions presented on the monitor. So looking at the options, the odd one here is plagiarism because it is against the rules of ICT using computer abuses of internet. So therefore the answer is A. Question eight, which of the following are parts of a computer processor? The CPU consists of six main components. One, we have the control unit, the ALU, which is the arithmetic logic unit, the register, the catchy boxes, and clock. And if we look at the options here, the only one we can find among the components is the control unit and the ALU, which is option B. So therefore, our answer is B. Question nine. Data gathering, it involves the following means, except, what is data gathering? Is the process of collecting and measuring information on variables of what? Interest in an established systematic fashion that enables one to answer stated research questions, test hypotheses, and evaluate outcomes. When you are counting, in counting process, you are collating data, you are gathering data. Voting, voting process, there is no any raw data that you are gathering, it's just a process of voting. Measuring process, yes, when you are measuring something, you are collecting data, gathering data. Calculating, also, you are gathering data. The odd one here is B, voting process. So therefore, our answer is, B. Number 10. Two computers, X and Y, are such that the processor in X has a word size of 32 bits, while that of Y is 16 
Wait. Which of the following statements is true? A. X can process half as much data as Y at the same time. X can process the same amount of data as Y at the same time. X can process two times as much data as Y at the same time. And X can process four times as much data as Y at the same time. If we look at the value, that is the numbers of words, the size of the words that computer X can accommodate is 32 bit. And that of Y is 16 bit. If they are to be processed at the same time, that means computer X will process twice of computer A. That means 32-bit system can process twice. That is 32 divided by 16, which is 2. It will process twice of computer Y. So therefore, our answer is C. Number 11, the television set display information as well. We have antenna signal. What is antenna signal? These are the transducers that convert the voltage from a transmitter into what? Radio signal, visual signal, that is sight. Sight, you can see what is in the television. Audio, audio signal, that means you can hear the sound. Whatever they are presenting from the TV, you'll be able to hear them. And audio visual, that is the combination of the two. You can see the casters and you can equally hear what the casters are saying, the news being cast. So therefore, our answer is D, audiovisual signals. Number 12, which of the following is not an ancient method of transmitting information? Yes, let's go back to information transmission. What are the ancient method of transmitting information? One, we have the aura method, drum beating, fire lighting, tongue crying, whistling, drawing diagrams, and making representation. Then from the option, we have fire lightning, yes, it's part of it, beating drum, one of it, telephone, no, whistling, yes. So therefore, our answer is C. 13, a server is a computer that provides service to other computer called, that means, is a service provider and which are those um, computer does the server provide service for let us look at client computers there are hardware or software devices that request or require services from a server peers peers is any word device that participates in a network and has the same functionality as one or more devices in the network this is out of it. Router is a device that connects to a more packet switch network or sub-network is out of it. The switches, is, switches can be hardware devices that manage physical network or software-based virtual devices is also out of it. When we see the client computers, they request service from a server and the question says, a server is a computer that provides service to the computer's core word, client, computer. Number 14, the rules for exchanging data on the network are known as what? Protocols in the computer science is a set of rules or procedures for transmitting data between electronic devices such as computers. Why do I bring the definition of protocol? Looking at the options strictly, transmission rules is odd, transfer rules is odd, configuration is odd, protocol is the only word here that has to do with rules and regulation or standards. We are looking at the definition of protocol. So the rules for exchanging data on the network is known as what? Protocols standard protocols number 15 search engine search engine is a word that is what is search engine look at this diagram very well 
you can see this little space. When you want to search for information from the internet, you type in your text here, then you simply press enter on your keyboard. But what is search engine? A search engine is a web-based tool that enables users to locate information on the World Wide Web. Popular examples are Google, Yahoo, MSN. So, search engine, program the searches engine? No. Computer engine, the searches the data? No. Hardware components of the computer? No. Tools, the searches web? Yes. So, therefore, our answer is D. Number 16, the feature in a browser which enables users to open the latest copy on a web page is called a refresh. Refreshing a web page enables users to see the updated or latest copy of information. This answer is very direct and straight. So forward, backward, and redirect is not the correct option for this question because the question is saying the future in the browser which enable users to open the latest copy on a web page is called refresh so our answer is a 17 an operating system will perform the following functions before we'll be able to know which of these options is correct. We have to know the functions of an operating system. Functions of an operating system. One, it manages the memory, the processor, device, file, and storage. Then when we look at the options, we, the A says files and folder, storage location, user provide creation, of course, an operating system equally does that. But we have protection from search. What is search? As the name may suggest, search, it simply means a sudden strong increase or burst, e.g. like power search. So therefore, protection from search is odd. So therefore, our answer is D. 18. A Microsoft Office application search includes all the following, except, yes, let us see the Microsoft Office applications. What do we have here? Microsoft Word, yes. Microsoft Excel, not in the option. PowerPoint, yes. Outlook, not in the option. Publisher, not in the option. VCO, not in the option, then we'll have access. Yes, we have access. Project Exchange, Skype, SharePoint, Project Server, and Office Offline. So option C is correct draw. And if we look vividly, correct draw is not part of the Office application suit. And meanwhile, correct draw is a graphics design software. So therefore, our answer is C. 19. Which of the following is not a feature on the drawing toolbar? Over shape, yes, is a feature. Line is a feature. Drop cap, yes. Drop cap has to do with text, not drawing. You cannot draw, and this is text by typing. You cannot draw. So then we have ARC. ARC also is also a drawing. You can simply use all this drawing to create a perfect shape during design. Why this drop cap is odd. So therefore our answer is C. 20. Microsoft Excel worksheet below shows the salary distribution for four staff of a company the net salary is paid after the deduction has been made use it to answer question 20 and the question says which of the following cells contain numeric data that means just strictly number a1 this is column a row one column a row one and we know that uh in microsoft excel we have what is called cell a cell is the intersection of columns and row. 
So column A and row 1 intersect here, which is the A1 that contains certification number. It is an alphabet, alphabetic data, not numeric data. A2, this is alphanumeric data. C, C3, column C, row 3, we have 3,500, is strictly number. E1, E1 is deduction, deduction, which is alphabetic data also. So therefore, the only option here that contains number is cell C3, which is option C. This brings us to the end of this question and answer from YEC 2016. Thank you. See you next time.